Hello again, this is um, a CD I've been working on for uh, a little while. I made it last year sometime, but uh, just thought I'd uh, show it working. I did this with the CD TV development tools and burnt it to ISO. Like I said, I did it a year, it might have been a couple of years ago now. It's, um, it was done purely as an experiment. I did intend to make a CD full of um, oh, all kinds of things, applications and what have you, but uh, obviously I never did. I might come back to this. I don't actually remember how I did it, to be honest. I have the tools somewhere, all the development tools kicking about. But it's something I'd I, I quite like to revisit. What it is, is basically what what, uh, what you see. It is Workbench uh, booting from a CD. I don't have the keyboard connected at the moment. So I can't... Uh, what am I pressing? Wrong button. So I can't show you, um, I don't know, anything of any great interest. What I, I meant to do is put sysinfo on and um, oh, all kinds of things, but uh, I never did. So this is um, Workbench, let's have a look. Working from the, uh, working from the remote, the infrared remote. It does work reasonably well. I have a plug in my Amiga CD ROM, I can uh, January 1978. How time flies! I can um, boot my Amiga 500 up, but it's, you know it's basically a CD TV. So I have two meg chip, zero fast ramp. So there we are. It's just. Uh, it's just workbench running from a uh, ISO from a CD-ROM. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.